Hey guys, it's Boston Blaisdell here. Got a special video for you today because we have some huge new releases in Second Life for your male avatars. Firstly, a brand new mesh body on the market by Inithium named Cario. That is the same creator of the popular Cooper and Coops body for female abbeys. So I'm going to be walking you through how the new male body looks, how it works and all of that good stuff. In addition, we also have a sparkling new head by Lelutka named John. They've dropped some unexpected surprises for us and this is an exclusive item available at the Anithium event where you can try out the head and body separately. We're going to get into a quick review and tutorial so I can explain to you what's included and give some tips and recommendations for how to put your look together. So starting with the Cario body, the first thing I'm loving about this is that you receive a full starter pack with some skins, clothing, add-ons and tattoos all included. And these are by different creators who have come together to partner with Anithium. Let me explain the folder structure first. When you open the Cario pack, you'll see four objects at the top. We've got the body itself with the version number next to it. So just remove your current body, right click the new one and then click add. Above that, we have an object that says configurator. It's basically the HUD for customizing the body. So just add that as well. I'll be showing you the options within that in a moment. And then the box named starter pack is where all the bonus face skins, clothing and add-ons can be discovered. If you scroll down, we've got lots of Evo X skin layers and these are just for the body. Now it's better to apply the body layer after you've applied the face skin, but it's very easy to reorder your layers and we'll come on to that. These body skins and tones in the pack are most aligned with the not found face skins. There's two versions of the body, either fit or flex, which I'll show you in the configurator. We only want to choose one of these body skin layers. I've gone for the fit skin in medium tone. And the other thing to add from this section is the ear layer. So make sure you choose the same tone as the body and the face. In my case, I've gone for medium one as well. So you can see I've already added the new Laluka John head. You can, of course, just wear your current head with this body, whether that's Skylar, Ford, Aeon, Jen, Luca, Paxton, any of the heads are compatible. But of course, we are excited about this new one from Laluka, which has a very distinctive and striking look to him. And it can be shaped very easily to look mature or youthful. From the John head pack, I've got the eyes, head, teeth and head attached. And the alpha I'm wearing is the alpha bomb head and body with applier eyes. So this means your body and head will be baked on mesh, which is the best option if you want the flexibility of adding and customizing different layers. The face skin I'm wearing here is included with the body and that's an exclusive partnership with Not Found, also named Cario. I've got the medium tone on here to make sure it blends with the body. And I'm also wearing the Not Found shape, which is designed specifically for the John head. I made a couple of minor modifications to the mouth to harmonize it with this skin. So if you want a look that resembles this, just make sure you choose the shape from the not found folder. If you wear a shape from one of the other folders, even the one in the Laluka head pack, it will not look the same. The other thing you get in the Cario pack is body hair add-ons by Nexus. I've got arms, legs and torso layers on here. The torso hair may be white when you first apply it, so just right click the item in your inventory, click edit, choose color tint, and then just select your color from the palette. I'm going for a dark brunette, almost black shade here. And once you're done, just click OK and save the changes. Before we add more layers, let's jump over to the HUD configurator. It's pretty straightforward and easy to navigate. There's four main tabs at the top here. In the body accessories tab, this is where we can switch between fit or flex body type. Fit is a lean muscular build, whereas Flex is a popping bodybuilder aesthetic, which has a real statement look. And below that, there's options to adjust the nipple size and tone. I'm liking the fit look in comparison to the Flex. And if we jump over to the shine control, you can move the dial from zero to 20 to increase the shininess of the body, which just adds more depth and texture. You'll need to have advanced lighting enabled from your preferences menu for this to show in world. And you can change the color if you want a different tone to the glossiness. There's also a second dial, which is named environment. This gives some intense effects, but I usually keep this at zero. 
I do already have a separate projector light on my avatar for this video, which is giving this blue teal glow for a bit of a moonlight effect. The shape and color of the nails can be adjusted in the configurator. And this set of rings by Emporio are also included in the body pack, which is a really cool addition for styling your avatar. Just love to see how the designers have come together to put together a whole look which is included in a single pack. So one tip to mention about the ears, if you're wearing the Cario body skin and the not found face skin, make sure that you only wear the ear layer from the body pack and not the ear layer from not found. If you wear the not found one, you'll see this harsh line which doesn't blend, whereas the ear layer from the Cario folder is a perfect blend. So I've got my universal layers here at the bottom and that's indicated by these three boxes. They just sit separately at the bottom. And above that, I've got my usual layers. I've got my body skin above the face skin layer. And if it's in the wrong position, you can just use the arrows to move the layers up or down. The other thing to get used to is wearing alphas for the clothing. I'm wearing the swimwear included in a pack by Legal Insanity. And there's also an alpha layer to wear so that the body doesn't clip out of it. Within the pack, I'm just swapping the Legal Insanity swimwear and the beach sandals, which are by Guilty with some pants and sneakers by Libra, and the sneakers come in black, red, and white. The final thing I wanted to show you from this Cario pack is this cool Amuni Sakuta tattoo, which comes in three different tones from light to intense. Again, this is a really nice add-on for you to get started with the body and a great bonus feature within the package. Outside of the pack, guys, I've been wearing separate poses here from Berus, minimal breathing poses to complete these looks and also a separate hair base by Not Found named Aeon, as I prefer this one to the one that's already in the pack. But as always, I will link all of the landmarks in the description. So guys, I'm really keen to hear your thoughts on this new head and body by Lilucra and Inithium. I'm gonna be showing a lot more of this in my future videos. A lot of people have been very excited about the release of a new body. I appreciate that not everyone is into muscular bodies and that is okay. Just be respectful and consider that it is very hard work to create something like this. A lot of time and attention goes into these projects by creators. So even if it's not your thing, for me it's so important to encourage diversity and creativity within Second Life. And body shaming or trolling people with your judgments is never attractive. Over 7 billion people on this earth and thank God we are not all the same. So leave a comment below guys, I'd love to know what you think and get your feedback. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon.